Hello, and welcome to this presentation, Understanding Oscilloscopes High Definition Mode. In this presentation, we'll provide a short technical introduction to the High Definition Mode found on modern digital oscilloscopes, including a discussion of how HD mode is different from other methods used to enhance vertical resolution. This presentation assumes a basic understanding of oscilloscope operation. If you're new to oscilloscopes, or if you'd like a brief review, you might want to watch the presentation Understanding Basic Oscilloscope Operation before continuing with this presentation. Let's begin by reviewing vertical resolution. We can define vertical resolution as the smallest voltage difference that can be measured by an oscilloscope. And vertical resolution is normally specified as the number of bits in the scope's analog to digital converter, or ADC. Increasing the number of ADC bits increases the vertical resolution. Using a 1 volt peak to peak sinusoid as an example, an 8 bit ADC would have a vertical resolution of approximately 3.9 millivolts. But vertical resolution improves to approximately 1 millivolt for a 10 bit ADC. There are many advantages to increased vertical resolution, such as lower noise, the ability to see small signal details, greater dynamic range, and improved measurement repeatability. There are four main ways in which the vertical resolution of an oscilloscope can be improved. These are increasing the number of ADC bits, averaging, high resolution mode, and high definition mode. We'll briefly cover the first three methods and then spend the remainder of this presentation discussing high definition mode, both how it works as well as how it's different from the other three methods. Let's start by discussing ADC bits. Most modern digital oscilloscopes typically have 8, 10, or 12-bit ADCs. And as mentioned before, increasing the number of bits increases the number of quantization levels and thus increases vertical resolution. However, there's also a very considerable increase in cost associated with increasing the number of ADC bits. In addition, since the number of ADC bits is set in hardware, it can't be dynamically adapted to the application. In other words, we can't increase or decrease the number of ADC bits to meet different measurement requirements. And it should also be noted that limits to vertical resolution may not simply be a function of the number of ADC bits. In many scopes, noise and distortion also limit vertical resolution, regardless of the number of ADC bits. Unlike the number of ADC bits, which is a fixed hardware-defined value, averaging is a configurable method for improving vertical resolution or reducing noise. As the name implies, this method averages the waveform points of multiple sequential acquisitions. The advantage of averaging is that it can greatly reduce random noise and thus increase signal-to-noise ratio and vertical resolution. The more waveforms that are averaged together, the greater the noise reduction. For example, any single acquisition of this square wave contains a noticeable amount of noise, but this noise is substantially reduced as more acquisitions are averaged together. Averaging does, however, require a repetitive signal with a stable trigger point. Another limitation of averaging is that it can't be used on a single shot acquisition. But unlike the next two methods we'll discuss, Averaging does not reduce the scope's bandwidth or the scope's sample rate. And finally, note that the scope's triggering system can't take advantage of the noise reduction from averaging because averaging only occurs after acquisition. Another method for improving vertical resolution is something called high resolution mode. In this mode, excess samples produced by the scope's ADC are reduced or decimated by averaging samples over defined intervals. Averaging the samples in this way reduces noise, thus improving signal-to-noise ratio and vertical resolution. Averaging samples does, however, require additional processing, so high-resolution mode may reduce the overall waveform acquisition rate of an oscilloscope. Unlike the averaging we just discussed, high-resolution mode can be used on a single-shot acquisition, that is, it improves vertical resolution without requiring multiple acquisitions. There is, however, one drawback to high resolution mode. 
Because high-resolution mode combines multiple samples into a single sample, it effectively reduces the sample rate. This lower sample rate then decreases the maximum signal frequency that can be accurately digitized. For example, a sufficiently high sampling rate allows our scope to accurately digitize this input signal. But if too low of a sample rate were used, the result would be an aliased waveform that does not accurately represent the analog input signal. Therefore, the lower effective sample rate in high resolution mode will reduce the alias-free bandwidth of an oscilloscope. This may or may not be an issue depending on the signal you're measuring relative to the bandwidth of your oscilloscope. But keep in mind that the effective reduction in bandwidth in high resolution mode is neither precisely known nor directly user configurable. One way of avoiding these issues of reduced sample rate and unknown bandwidth reduction in high resolution mode is using something called high definition mode. In high definition mode, a digital low pass filter is placed directly after the analog to digital converter. This filter is implemented in an ASIC and thus essentially operates in real time. As with all other filters, this digital filter reduces bandwidth and thus also reduces the amount of noise resulting in improved signal-to-noise ratio and improved vertical resolution in our oscilloscope. As we'll look at more closely in a few moments, the improvement in vertical resolution can be quite substantial, with an effective resolution of up to 18 bits at low bandwidths. Unlike averaging, high-definition mode doesn't require a repetitive signal or multiple acquisitions. And, unlike high-resolution mode, High definition mode doesn't reduce the sampling rate and doesn't slow down processing. In addition, the benefits of high definition mode are also seen by the trigger system, something we'll come back to in a few moments. In high definition mode, the bandwidth of our digital filter is explicitly chosen or configured by the user, so the user precisely knows the bandwidth of the filter. And as the bandwidth is reduced, vertical resolution improves. For example, lowering bandwidth to 1 GHz in this 12-bit oscilloscope provides the equivalent of a 1-bit improvement in vertical resolution. This resolution improves to 16 bits when the bandwidth is lowered to 100 MHz and increases again to 18 bits when bandwidth is set to only 20 MHz. Note that these are only example numbers and will differ between oscilloscopes. As a practical matter, High definition mode allows us to adapt the bandwidth to the characteristics of the signal. Another way of saying this is that high definition mode allows users to trade bandwidth for vertical resolution. That is, we can choose a narrower bandwidth to improve vertical resolution or give up some vertical resolution in exchange for wider bandwidth. Let's look at an example of high definition mode. With high definition mode inactive or off, Noise superimposed on a signal can make it difficult to see signal details. Activating high definition mode increases vertical resolution and makes smaller signal details more easily visible. Here, a very low level of periodic amplitude modulation can be seen on the measured signal. The improvement in vertical resolution provided by high definition mode can also aid in triggering. High definition filtering is performed before a scope's digital trigger. This is different from high resolution mode or averaging, which both occur after the trigger. Therefore, HD mode provides greater resolution to the triggering system and improves trigger sensitivity. The result is that triggering can now be done on very small signal features, in many cases down to a single pixel on the display, making it possible to trigger on small waveform features even in the presence of much larger waveform features. So let's summarize what we've covered. Vertical resolution is one of the most important parameters in many oscilloscope applications. And in most modern scopes, there are usually several different methods that can be used to improve vertical resolution. Of these methods, high definition or HD mode is the most powerful and the most flexible. HD mode is implemented as a digital low pass filter following the ADC, and depending on the scope and the application, HD mode can provide up to 18 bits of vertical resolution. High definition mode allows the user to trade bandwidth for vertical resolution, 
with vertical resolution increasing as bandwidth is decreased. Unlike some other methods of improving vertical resolution, HD mode does not reduce the scope sampling rate and can also be used on a single shot capture. And finally, for scopes that have a digital trigger, high definition mode also increases the resolution seen by the trigger and therefore allows triggering on very small waveform features. This concludes our presentation, Understanding Oscilloscope's High Definition Mode. If you'd like to learn more about acquisition modes, bandwidth, or other oscilloscope-related topics, please see the links in the video description. Thanks for watching.